Today we're going over the top 10 releases set to drop this month in April and honestly there's some solid options. So let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. We have the Nike Air Diamond Turf Max 96 Varsity Maze. What do you think about this shoe? This is a must cop. It just gives you the old school vibe and everything. <sighs> These things are nice. I got a pair at Super Bowl. Yeah. I went to the event, I saw them speak and uh, it was dope. All the, the boys were there. It was dope, like just everything around it. And they, right. they uh, allowed us to get pairs at the event. So I was already like super ecstatic about it. And then now like seeing this release and then the new colorways and the PEs and the cleats and stuff. Right. Like these plus the red and white colorway, bringing back the old school nostalgia colors, mm -hmm. I think it's dope. And I'm excited to see people just rocking these out in the street again. Cause every time I seen somebody rocking these back in the day, it just looked dope. For sure. No, a lot of people rocked these back in the my day. My baby pictures. Did you see my baby pictures? I think so. You I was rocking them in the baby pictures. I had these since I was like the original yeah, yeah. version. Like, <laughs> I've always liked this shoe. <laughs> he said, did you see my baby pictures? I literally, yeah. No, these are fine. That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, dope shoe. Uh, what, do you rate these, what do you rate these out of 10? Because I already know it's a cop. They get a 10 from me. 10 out of 10? They get a 10, they get the whole 10. Okay, honestly, out of football shoes in particular, when it comes to like turf bottoms and stuff like that, like these is up there for sure. I I, I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad well, at I that Well, I ain't playing all. no football. I'm just trying to make up a flight of stairs these days. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Speaking of flight, this dude has been taking flight on everybody. Oh my God. Okay. Poster after poster. The Anthony Edwards Adidas uh what is this georgia red clay so i've been seeing these on the internet already i think this model is dope the colorways have been dope and i like yeah. the futuristic vibe to it and it looks like actually a nice performance sneaker as well i think personally they could change the colorway any colorway like uh -huh. this and they will not go wrong don't change this shoe right don't try to get, oh, we can do this and mess it up. This shoe is clean but right the, now. But the problem is like next season, they have to come out with number two and then number three and number four. So it's like, again, the first one, it's hard to beat the first one. They killed it on this shoe. So, okay, this one, it looks great with single color blocking, everything the same color right? or the two-tone split. We saw the iridescent one. There's a lot of different styles yeah. and the shoe just looks dope. Yeah. So they can ride this way for a minute. Is this a cop or is it like you looking for a different colorway or like, what do you think? <sighs> I'm looking for a different colorway because I've seen these in different colorways. Okay. Right. But it's a cop for sure. Okay. This black and pink this colorway This right is fire. there is bananas. That, that black and pink colorway is fire. That's pink. Oh. I thought that was blue. No. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a lavender pink color. Kinda... Yeah. No, see that's fire. But those is hard. Okay. So it's a cop. This is a cop. I'm honestly very interested in these and I think I'm gonna be grabbing a pair soon. Yeah. Not even off the hype, just the overall look. Like the shoe looks dope. Yeah, no, we don't do hype stuff anyway. We get what we want and this that's is true. it. This we is tell you true. to buy what you want. Don't buy the hype unless you just buying it to sell it. Okay, women's release. Jordan 4. I thought this was all everybody was getting these, but it's a women's release. Man, that's sweet. Vivid Sulfur Air Jordan 4. <laughs> This is the must cop. If this you can get it, if shoe. they come up in a man size, go ahead and get you a pair. Yeah. Well, you know, we might be struggling if we wanted to get these. Yeah, that's the struggle. I ain't gonna lie. I thought these was all uh, like, uh, I thought that was men release. So I want these. That's all I'm saying. Right. I want these. It's a must cop. Like, like I said, I think if you got an action at getting them, mm -hmm. get them. Mm -hmm. uh, 14 women's size, like 17 or something. Right. Oh, you gotta work. <laughs> it's not a 17. <laughs> 15 and a half. <laughs> it says 17. Oh yeah, by the way, if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! <laughs> All right, let's take it to the next shoe. Uh, and also the links in the uh, dates and all the stuff will be down below in the description in order for you guys. And there's no particular order for this. These are just 10 shoes, not like number one, number two, the ranking. Right. We're not really ranking them. We're just We're not ranking going, them. Just through, going the list through what's coming out and uh, seeing what's next. So the Italian Camo Pro Tro uh, Kobe 6. For me, I got my own reasons why I like these. I'm interested to see what you think about these. 190 bucks. Me, personally, it's a cop. 
These I are like them. I like them. And I do like camo stuff. Like, I don't have yeah. a lot of it. I do have a few things. And it's weird because it's darker. Yeah. You know, a little darker than some of them. Mm -hmm. But, no, it's clean. It's a must cop. This is a clean shoe. And I like how they, like, have the back half, the different color on the yeah. bottom with, like, the yeah. olive in the front with the tan in the back. Yeah. It's just, it's a clean shoe, man. This is one of them shoes that... I just always needed in my life. So yeah, for I think me, that's it. it's a must cop. And it's going to be hard to get, gonna sell out, gonna resell for something, whether it's five hundred dollars, three hundred and fifty dollars, or seven hundred and fifty dollars. Kobe's is Either still way, selling out. They're still gonna everywhere. be moving. Uh this is I don't know if there's gonna be any time soon where his shoes are just sitting on shelves. Please. Like people are like, oh the shoe game is dead. But then why is stuff still selling out? Because I'll be seeing releases that be selling out each month. <laughs> and that's okay. All right, what we got next? Ooh, these ones is hard. We got the Jackie Robinson Air Max 186. So... See, this is grown man shoe right here. So what this is, is they took the 86 bubble, the bigger bubble. Yeah. Remember yeah. I did the thing on sneakers app when mm -hmm. we talked about the bigger bubble? Mm -hmm. So they took that style and they've been giving us more retros with that style and giving us collaborations Ooh. and different stuff, right? So, Jackie Robinson, we've yeah. seen different uh, shoes for I him see. and, you know, to represent for him. This one, clean. You got the 42 with the Nike swoosh on the Dubray in the front. You got the Velcro pack. Is that this Velcro shoe, pack? This shoe, to me, should sell out. I don't know if it's It Velcro ain't gonna press. sell out to everybody because they don't understand everything about him, but the shoe itself is clean. The colorway is clean. You can dress this up and down. This shoe is some fire. shorts, some pants, whatever. I still need the dunks. These is clean. They'd be taxing in my size. They probably tax even more in your <laughs> size. If it's like 700 in my size, it's probably like 850 in your size. Dang. It's crazy. Everybody else be like, yeah, I got a pair for 350. I'm like, bro, that is burnt. Y'all be taxing the big feet. Gum bottom. You got that sail color on the midsole, big bubble with the blue air unit. Grown man. The, oh, the sail on the upper with the suede, the perforations on the on the vamp. You, the, get you see son. the details? You get your kids, your little kids, a shoe like this, and then they get put this nice outfit and go to church. You got like the feathers on the swoosh. You see the little details right here? Yeah. No, this, this is clean. These are fire. A lot of detail to this shoe. Oh my gosh. A lot gosh. of great materials. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next up. We talked about this in the last video. And see them Jackie Robinsons look better than the Travis Scott's to me. The Jackie Robinsons is cleaner than these. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so you got the Travis Scott Jumpman Jacks. Mm -hmm. uh, they say the other colorway is coming out too, the black and red. I'm not sure if that's next month, whatever. So we'll incorporate that one too. But again, a lot of hype, a lot of demand behind this shoe. Ooh, boring. <laughs> so it's a pass? It's a pass. Do not. See, the thing is, is people just going off the hype for Travis Scott. You really don't like this shoe. You just get it because it's a Travis Scott. But see, I don't say that. But I'm in a different position. Because you know the other shoes. No, I like other trainers. I like, I come from the... I understand that. We both come from the sports background, but I come from the field and turf kind of background. Right. So for me, the trainers with the strap and all the stuff like that, like you said, Mike Vicks and, and Trainer Ones and Rebus well, like and stuff. I like those better than these. But I'm saying, that's what <laughs> that's what gravitates me to being interested in the sneaker, right. wanting to see it in person, potentially adding it but, to the collection. But it could be a shoe that grow with me too. Like, okay, we had example. a couple of shoes like that that I didn't really like on you know on the camera, and then I see it. And just, yeah, I think uh, like the Travis Scott Trainer One. When those were like coming out, I was like, bro, these are dope. Like, right. and everybody was like, oh, it's a Trainer One, because they didn't like Trainer Ones. Yeah. And even though it was Travis Scott, it didn't allow like it still didn't put enough hype on it. Like they're selling for below retail. See. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But so, but for me, I'm like, oh, these are hard. Like I didn't, well, I didn't really feel the whole shroud thing that was over the top of them. But <laughs> the shoe, I was like, these are clean. Like I like, yeah. I got trainers in my collection. So. For me, it was those type of reasons. But again, this is not like top sneaker by any means. Not even on this list. 
Today's partner is Sneaker Throne. They have multiple options when it comes to durable and high quality display cases. One of my personal favorites is the drop side display case. I'm a size 13 and I can easily fit my shoes inside of here and I have hundreds of these stacked throughout my rooms to display my sneakers. When it comes to the cases in particular, you have four different color options, clear, black, white, and red. So if you're looking at grabbing one of these for yourself or for someone else, make sure you guys check out sneakerthrone.com and don't forget to use the discount code DNA show at checkout for 10% off for all your orders. This is more up your alley. Simple. Air Jordan 1, OG High, Team Red. That's red? Yeah. It's like a maroon, huh? Hold on, hold on, yeah, yeah, go ahead, look at them. It's like a maroonish color. Cause that kind of, yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, see this is way better. See, like this, way better in person. You like those? How, how you get all the shoes? They supposed to be just coming out. So what be killing me, man? Oh, this shoe coming out. Oh, I already got that one. <laughs> okay, so these ones too. These coming out soon. This one's crazy because these ain't even came out yet, and they like selling for like retail or below retail mm. in the resale market. Crazy. Yeah. That's the times we're in. But that's like for me, I'm like, great. You can get a dope shoe that you like. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. Uh, what do you think about those? This is a cop. All day. For sure. You see, I got them. I like them. Yeah, this is a con. I can't. You can't go wrong with the color blocking. Yeah, I have a full review on those down below. This is cool too. And the, if you guys want a review on these, cool. let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, can you guys see that? It's still blurry. Oh, there we go. All right, there you go. Now you guys can see some details on this shoe. But either way, he likes those. So you take those over to Travis Scott's. <laughs> Oh, for sure. Okay. <laughs> that I would debate because I have enough Jordan 1s. Oh, this is like the old school shoe. Yep. I had the high top of those. But this is actually the Kobe 4 <laughs> Pro Tro. So this is a model. This is a Kobe 4 model, but this is a colorway. You got. But the they Philly took Reese. some of this material and stuff off another shoe. Oh, because you have those. Um, It's like a hyper dunk or something. Something like that. I forgot. I know which one you're talking about. You have like the. Uh, was it the, the Puerto Rico PE? The Puerto Rico. I know which one you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It I had kind of similar about. materials and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember those. And you had like, it was like patent leather on or something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is another. Where's those shoes at? I haven't seen those. I don't those. know. I haven't seen those in years. <laughs> one time we were looking for some shoes and we found like eight other pairs of shoes that were like, when the. Oh, hey, brand did, new in the box. Like, like, where did you. <laughs> it was crazy. We lost. Oh, it was some heat too. Yeah. It was some heat, but it was, yeah, seven, eight pairs stacked up and I'm like, like bro what man i'm missing all these shoes i didn't even know they was missing <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy okay um yeah but this is a solid shoe i think for me i would go after the shoe i'm mm -hmm. probably gonna take an l i'm gonna try to find them in the resale market we'll see what happens yeah. but i'm definitely gonna try to get them for retail and i like them but again yeah, i, like I would be like fine i would also be fine stuff. if i didn't get them and i if i like if i paid resale i wouldn't pay crazy like i would be right. like I need a decent price or a good trade, and then that would allow me to get them. But I'm not. I, what I'd do be you fine think they're gonna them. go for a resale? How much over? I don't know, man. All these shoes, they all some stuff just don't even make sense. I could look it up and see like what they're hitting for now. Yeah. But I don't know. It's just it's all over the place. You ain't you ain't paying more than fifty over. Fifty bucks? I'll do like a hundred. Uh. <laughs> I'll do like a hundred. Because like, what's the retail? Probably like 160 bucks or something. Right, so then that puts you like at 260. Like 250, 280, something yeah. like that. That'd be cool. Yeah. But most of these, I'm like, eh, I don't know. I don't be paying attention to the prices anyway. I'm I'm here to collect them, so. Right. Okay, we got a few more shoes left. What do we got right here? So the Devin Booker one. This is uh, inspired by his dog. Yeah. And it's called Haven. <laughs> so. His dog? Yeah. Okay. You got a big black dog. And that's what his shoe is inspired by. But honestly, though, it's a clean shoe. I rock it. Cold. <laughs> I rock it. I mean, you know me. I'm gonna rock that. I'm of course I'm some black pants, whatever this, and that, and the other. Yeah. But no, that's a rocker to me. This is like one of them shoes that's like, cause we're in the era of like, back in the day, aka like ten plus years ago, mm -hmm. people was wearing jeans with basketball shoes. Right. With Kobe's, LeBron's, KD's, I still all do. this stuff. <laughs> But it's difference between like Jordan basketball shoes and then like right. hoop shoes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. These are 
hoop shoes, but they're but, built to be like lifestyle but shoes. But to too. me, that's an everyday rocker. Like, because it looks like it a on, Jordan One. You can just put it on and just and keep it clean and yeah. just go do what you got to do. It looks like a Jordan One. That's why. It looked like it's gonna be indestructible. I don't know. We'll see on the materials once it's him in. But either way, I think these been selling like crazy. Yeah. I remember because I think they did like the orange pair, and they were like hot, crazy hot. Orange. Yeah, it was like all. Oh orange. no, I don't know Play about the Phoenix orange. Suns. Yeah, I understand. With the black, I can do that. <laughs> All right, what color is the shoe? <laughs> it's green. Okay. Where? <laughs> he said where? <laughs> green, brown, and purple. <laughs> okay, so this Nike Dunk Low has come out multiple times. We've seen it over and over again. It's one of those ones that just kind of like keeps just going downhill. Like one of those scenarios, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you like it, you like it, great. I don't dislike the shoe. But what city are you gonna wear this with? This is not really a sports related thing. That's my point. Like I'm saying a city school, a, a city colors of any sport, you can't even put that to nobody. Maybe like, of any sport. Maybe like some small college <laughs> in the middle of Arkansas. <laughs> nah, not Arkansas. Wyoming, nah. South Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Trash. Okay, 115 bucks. See, they knew it. And the material's probably cool. No, nah, the dunks are, the dunks is cheap. The dunks is cheap. But I'm saying the material's probably cool, but I can see the shoe if you change those colors. Uh-huh. I can see that like the 140. 140? If you change the color rate. But same materials. Same materials. Interesting. Premium? Yeah, because the materials look good. Okay, okay. For but me, it's a pass. Pass. The For me, it's a pass. Definitely a pass. But I think it's one of the best. When I looked at the shoes, I'm like, it's in the list, and I can understand why people put it in the list, so we decided to put but it in the list. But you know what, though? People are rocking some crazy colors these days. Yeah. I'm very simple. Yeah. But I've seen people with seven different colors on the outfits now. Speaking of crazy colors, here you go. Here's another pass for me. Another pass? I don't care because it got Kobe name on it. Venice Beach? No. You don't got the memories of these? No. Okay. No memory about Venice. I remember the dude walking on glass out there. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Because he didn't want those shoes. <laughs> what did he do? Buy some mules? <laughs> okay. Nike Kobe 8 Pro Troll Venice Beach. Again, this is just one is of the shoes. Is that a girl shoe? Nah. It's a men's drop. It's a men's drop. This is one of them shoes that's like dope to have in the collection. I'm not mad if I don't get them. I would like to have them. He's not even pay. gonna try to get them. No, I'm gonna try, but I'm not, like, I wouldn't pay over. That's what I'm saying, like, I wouldn't pay crazy over to go get these. Y'all like, know if he try to get shoes, he's gonna get them. <laughs> so, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, either he's gonna have the shoe or not have the shoe. And right now, I'm telling you, he's not getting the shoe. <laughs> Just for those reasons, I'm getting the shoe. <laughs> Nah, I like them. I like them. But I think this would be a shoe that I would actually like purchase and be like, I'm hooping in these or something. Like, I wouldn't right. even be like, I'm putting them in the collection on display. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. Like, I think it's one of those type of scenarios. But I mean, you don't have nothing to wear them with. That's why you're just hooping them. Just go to the gym. You wear don't them. match when you hoop? Nah, you just wear all black. Hoop. Oh, okay. You be wearing the gray sweatshirt trying to hoop, sweat through it? I wear sweatpants when I hoop. You trying to I'm be hooping old. in the sweats? With a button down. And a little Bengay on the back. With the Bengay <laughs> coming around, taking a whiff. He hitting the corner like, whoo. Yeah. <laughs> the eyes watering. <laughs> okay, so those are the top 10 shoes. Do you have any selections for your top three out of any of these sneakers that you were like, I have to get out of this month? Man, three? I got to narrow it down to three. The Jackie Robinson's for sure. The Jackie Robinson Air Max. For sure, that has to be on the list. I got to get those too. Those yeah. are fire. Those are fire. That Kobe camo. The camo. Okay, Kobe 6. Yeah. Okay. And it, I'm torn. I definitely want that too, so that's why I said three. The Dion's. Oh my God. I want those. Which one is those? Go back one. Damn. Oh, the Anthony Edwards. But that Edwards. other colorway, they have another colorway. Okay. Oh so my Diamond Tariffs, Anthony Edwards, Jackie Robinson, Air Maxes, and what was the other one? Uh, Kobe's. Oh, and a camel Kobe's. Well, that's a nice little lineup. 
That's a nice lineup. That's a nice little lineup. I'm interested to see what you guys think down below in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. What are the top three for your picks? Did we miss anything? Are there any other brands you guys would like to see on the channel? And uh, what else? We did look at some new balances, but they didn't really cut it this week. Yeah. I mean, it's just they wasn't hitting like they that. They wasn't hitting like that. We gave time. it a shot. We gave it a shot. New Balance, step your game up. We see you. <laughs> All right, you. make sure you guys follow his page, <laughs> subscribe, like, all those things. Get him to 10,000 followers on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. I'll tag and link everything down below and at the end of this video. And uh, we'll see you guys in Denver at SneakerCon. Sign my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Catch right. me up, baby. We out. <laughs> all right, we out. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, it's definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Listen, my DNA, hey, the hey, only hey, choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I would never let you down. Listen, my DNA, the only